Hello, 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 you guys. I'm back today again with a quick dessert. I've been having a sweet tooth lately, and I am here to make a bananas foster banana pudding dump cake. Woo! Yes, bananas foster banana pudding dump cake. Let me turn the camera so we can get started. <laughs> All right, to you guys. So I have my mixing bowl here, and we're gonna start off with just some instant pudding, just some instant pudding. Now you can use either the banana flavor or you can use the vanilla flavor. I have both, but I'm going to use banana because my kids like the banana flavor. So I'm going to put the banana in here. Just gonna get it open and we're going to add our milk to it. That's the only thing that you add add to instant pudding all right so we're going to get the banana flavor pudding mix in here and now we're going to add our milk let me get the can opener so i can open it hold one second all right and i'm using sweetened condensed milk that's what i'm using so i'm going to get that open here and it calls for three cups of milk. So I'm gonna use both of these cans of the sweetened condensed milk. I think one of them might be evaporated milk or something like that. So I'm gonna get that down in there with this banana pudding mix. Get that down in there. Let me grab a spoon or a fork or something to get the rest of it out of there. First can, and then shake, 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 shake that one. Get this one open. All right. Get that in there. And now we're just going to whisk, 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 whisk our pudding gonna whisk it keep on whisking it I want it to thicken up and I'm just gonna pour this into my baking sheet It's all mixed up now. All righty. So you know, typically we refrigerate this. That's what we typically do. But guess what? We're not going to refrigerate it because it's going to be a part of our base for our banana pudding, uh, banana foster. So I'm just going to take this pudding mix and I'm going to just pour it down into my baking sheet. And that's all I'm doing is just pouring it down into my baking dish, I should say. Just gonna pour that down in there. Now here comes the fun. I'm just going to set this to the side for now, okay? Just gonna set it to the side for now. All right, so I have my, let me get this out of the way so it'll stay clean looking. All right, so I'm gonna put my skillet here and I'm gonna go ahead and start warming my skillet up uh, while I cut up my bananas. So I have that going, got that warming up. I'm gonna take two bananas and we're just going to peel them. Hopefully there's no brown spots on them. Take two bananas, move the peel. Good, I think these are perfect bananas. Thank you, Jesus. All right, got my knife here, and I'm just going to cut my bananas into um, little circles here. I'm just gonna cut them. All right, and I'm not doing a lot because I really don't like a lot of banana in my banana pudding, but 
we're gonna get them in here. Now I have done a no banana banana pudding. <laughs> I have done that before, but today we're gonna put some bananas. All right, so we're gonna get our skillet warm. We're gonna put some butter down into our skillet. And this is just half a stick of butter. You can use a whole stick if you choose. All right, so we have our butter in the skillet now. We have our sliced bananas. Now, if you like bananas, please feel free to use more than two bananas. I'm just using two of them because, like I said, I don't like a lot of banana in mine. So go ahead and add the bananas down into the butter. You want them separate, so make sure they don't try to gang up on you. <laughs> you don't want them to gang up on you. in there now. We're going to sprinkle them with two tablespoons of brown sugar. And these are, uh oh, heaping tablespoons of brown sugar. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more of brown sugar in there. We're going to put some vanilla extract in there as well. And we're going to put some ground cinnamon. Smelling good. We're just gonna start getting our bananas all mixed in with that old goodness. Get them all in there. In that good old yummy stuff. Yum. Oh, smells good. You want them to get nice and sticky. Nice and sticky. Now, typically for bananas foster, you would use um, rum, but I don't have a rum. I have Hennessy, and I am looking so forward to doing this because I have never been able to do this at home, but we are going to add some Hennessy to it, and we're going to light it on fire. All right, Hennessy. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all see that? Check it out. Check it out, you guys. Our bananas, fosters, go be so bomb. As soon as all the alcohol cooks out, the fire will go out. Y'all see that? Yes, 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 yes. That's going to be good, y'all. Yes, give it a stir. Give it a stir. And I'm just going to turn the fire off and I'm going to move this over. Yes. Okay, so now we have our instant pudding back again, right? Going to do it here. You see our instant pudding. We're going to add these bananas down in here with the instant pudding and all the sauce that goes with it. I'm just gonna add that in there. All right, gonna get it all mixed in there good. Spread it out evenly. Spread that out evenly. All right. 
righty. And now we're going to use banana nut mix over the top of it. We are not going to mix it with anything. We're only going to use the dry mix and put it over that with some butter at the top, okay? So let me open it up. And we're just going to put this dry mix right on top. so good already all right even it out make sure you don't have a bunch of globs we're going to even this out and then we're going to put our butter on top of it this is going to bake in the oven on 350 for probably about 40 minutes but i always check mine to make sure that i don't have any dry uh flour on top so I always make sure that I have my butter evenly distributed. So I check it about every 15 minutes when I'm doing a dump cake. So I have all that in there. That's packed kind of well. So now I'm just going to add the butter on top. I'm just going to give it a few more pats all the way around it. All righty, let me get the butter. All right, so I have some melted butter here in my cup. I'm just going to pour some melted butter all over it. Then I'm just going to get my spoon again that I did before just to pat it around to make sure that each part of it has it has butter and is moisturized. <laughs> Moisturize, coat it with some butter, whatever you want to call it. Just make sure that it's evenly all over the top of it. Okay, that smells so good, y'all. All right, it is ready to go in the oven, and I'm about to open my oven up now. Here it is to start off with. And then we're gonna put it in the oven, like I said, on 350 for about 40 minutes. All right, as soon as it is ready, I will take it out the oven and I will be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. So don't be mad at me, but I had to taste it. It was smelling so good and so tempting. I came and got it out the oven. Mm. And I put me some in a bowl because you have to eat this cooled off. Don't eat it as soon as it comes out the oven. Let it sit so that pudding can come back together. Y'all, this is delicious. So I'm gonna let y'all see it. I've already taken a piece of it out because I couldn't wait. <laughs> I couldn't wait. So I've already taken this corner out. I've already taken this corner out. The key to it is let it cool. Let it cool off because you want that crisp. Y'all hear this? Yeah. Y'all hear that? Y'all be quiet so they can hear it. That crust is bomb, y'all. That crust is bomb, 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 bomb. <laughs> but let it cool off. I would say let it sit for about, I would say about a good 20 minutes before you even serve it. Y'all, it is amazing. Y'all, just thank me later. I'm telling y'all, try it. Let it sit. I let it bake for 50 minutes. Halfway through, open your oven up. Make sure that all of that banana nut muffin mix is covered in butter so that it will crisp. If you see it still looks like the dry powder, you may have to add some more butter or you could just mix it in, you know, get you a spoon and kind of spread it out a little bit more evenly. 
Once it comes out of the oven, let it sit for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So, ha, this is my portion that I took out. I'm about to let these kids taste it. I'm about to let y'all taste the kids. Come on. All right, let me make sure it's all the way cool. I think it's nice and cool. Is it cool? Mm -hmm. Come on, G. You are, what you doing, Paris? Paris gave me a thumbs up and a smile. It's good? Mm -hmm. Let me get my bite in. And y'all, look. Look how crispy that crust is. It's nice and crisp. You have to let it sit. You have to let it cool off. Let me taste it. It's so good. It's not a lot. Y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Get a big thumbs up. Thumbs up it's just for another bad. quick dessert. And something that you can use during the holiday season for entertaining, y'all. It, it is have so good. Weed. It is so good, y'all. <laughs> Try it. Let me know what you think. Share it. Inbox me. Make it. Take a picture. Let me know how. Look, put somebody still in my bowl. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Y'all have a good night.